Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Alex and this is Carter. Nice to meet you guys. If you're new here, if you're not new, welcome back. Thank you for sticking around. So we've had a lot of people ask how we met. We have put some videos out on TikTok and other social media platforms, but we wanted to make uh, just like a, a solid video <laughs> describing how we really met. The truth. The truth. Because we just post like a a fake funny video. We did. It was the Costa Rica one. So if you've seen that one, that's actually <laughs> not how we met. Yeah, it wasn't meant to be a lie. It was just like supposed to obviously be a joke. But although the funny thing <laughs> is, we actually this that story pretty much happened in real life. It was just it after we met. We did go to Costa Rica and we rode horses. Yes. Um, but that is not how we met. No, that happened after we met. Um, but we're gonna get to the truth on how we met. Before we do that, we we should probably just quickly reintroduce ourselves yeah. for those of you that are new um, and just because we haven't really formally done so I feel yeah, like that's on true. our channel. Right, do you want to go, go first? Go first? Go you go, or you want? Yeah so okay. <laughs> go for it. As you know my name is Alex. I was born in Ithaca, New York um, so it's just kind of in the middle of nowhere upstate New York and then I moved to Florida when I was about 12. Grew up in like southwest Florida, Sarasota County. If anybody's heard of Northport <laughs> that's where I Live. Nobody's really heard of it, so I just tell them Sarasota County. But grew up there. I love to. I love music. I love art. I think I'm. I use the right side of my brain more, so I'm very artistic and musical, and so like my main passions. What did life. you do before social media? Like for before work? social media, um, I actually did start my own online training business. I believe in 2019. So at the beginning of that year, um, it was just online personal training and the business grew uh, pretty steadily and grew into something pretty amazing and it was cool to see the progress in that and I did learn a lot uh, but I did eventually get out of that to do what we're doing now as well so mm -hmm. that's a little bit about me so you can very, go nice. Next. very nice, very <laughs> nice, nice to meet you um, so my name's Carter as we know you're drinking after me? cooties <laughs> no but my name's Carter um, I was born in Florida, but grew up in Delaware, a very small state in an even smaller town. Um, you're touching my leg. I grew up in Delaware on the coast, like Bethany Beach, if you guys are familiar, was a lifeguard there, I grew up high school, all that stuff. Um, and growing up on the beach, I was like a surfer, I swam, all that stuff. So I went to college in Jacksonville, Florida, to University of North Florida, studied economics, which I do not use at all, but I did that for college. And I stayed in Jacksonville for work, after college for a few years um that's where he and i met which we'll get to but um basically was there for a few years in recruiting for like yeah four years moved down to fort lauderdale and now we're doing the social media stuff full time just on that note a lot of you guys ask us like what we do for work we do the social media stuff full time for work so it's not just making youtube videos and it's not just like posting pictures on instagram it's running youtube channels instagram channels TikToks, handling a bunch of brand deals and whatnot through all those different channels. So that's what we do, for those of you that were wondering. We did hire a manager recently and yes. that helped us a ton. Shout out to Jake, the slash management, who just sent us this PR package of Prime. It's not an ad, we're just, <coughs> just hooking us up. So thank you, we love you Jake. Anyways, um, so should we get into... Let's get into the story of how it all the started. The truth of how we met. It's such a wild story. It's so crazy. <laughs> um, Not about really, you. It's pretty simple. But. So just to kind of get this going. So like I said, I lived in Jacksonville, Florida, Jacksonville Beach. That's where we met. He was in Orlando at the time. Why don't you explain? Yeah. So uh, I was living in Orlando, and my roommate Sandra was uh, taking a little trip to Jacksonville, and she was like, "Hey, my work's paying for this trip. Um, so do you want to go with me? Like, they're gonna pay for the hotel and." and the gas and everything. So I was like, sure, why not? Like, cause I was free that weekend. I went up there. <laughs> I got a little bit bored while she was at work. So I ended up going on one of those apps. Oh wait, were you in a relationship? Were you no, actually I had just gotten out of a relationship not too long ago. So I was very, I think it was like a year, right? It was about a year that I've been out of a relationship, but- But you were still I talking a little bit? Was talking a little bit, but it was just like really rough for me. So like getting over my last relationship, was really hard for me and I was kind of going through like minor depression. Am I making you nervous? I was going through a really <laughs> tough time. Um, so I wasn't really like looking to find anything, honestly. I just decided I was bored and I'm gonna see if there's anybody online that you know I could hang out with or 
whatnot. So you got on the apps, just say it. I got on Scruff. He did it. <laughs> I did it. Yeah, like, like it's not a bad thing. He got on Scruff. So I got on Scruff and I uh, just started looking around and obviously like... Maybe that's a good place to pause because yeah. I can get my up to speed and then we can... Okay, do it. Okay, so that's what happened with there. So anyways, I was in Jacksonville, that's where I lived. Jacksonville Beach. Um, very similar to Alex, I was recently out of a longer term relationship. It was one of my first real relationships. It was very like... I mean, it was toxic. Like it was, like I said, he, he like he said, he was kind of depressed coming out of... I was the same, like... It was not good, um, was out of that, was still kind of communicating with this person, but was single, and I don't, I don't even know what day it was, it was not a weekend. It was Tuesday. Oh, we have the deal, it was Tuesday, <laughs> and I also was on Scruff, and I'm not lying, when I say this, I did not use the apps a lot, because I never had anything good come from it. Yeah, I'm not, I've actually never met anyone off Scruff yeah, before ever. Yeah, like it was always just like, if I was drinking or something and I was like being stupid, but I just happened, I was quick sober, happened to be on Scruff, saw his profile, um, and I was like, this is a fake person, because why would you be in Jacksonville Beach out of all places? And that kind of brings you up to speed on like why we were, where we were, and on Scruff and all that stuff. Oh yeah, we have the Instagram messages. We have to show you like little snippets of it. But before we get to that, how did we get to the point of messaging each other on Instagram? His username was Cartfish, so I remember uh, like when I found him, I was like talking to my roommate. Uh, I was like, "This has got to be like a catfish," because his username yeah. is literally. Cartfish. Why would a catfish though put catfish? I don't know. I was like, "Is this like a sign that he's a catfish?" Because I also didn't believe that like he was who he was on there. On that note, if you see profiles of us, of us today, they are catfishes. So, I let's just say that I messaged Alex first, and I think literally like two or three messages into the conversation, I was like, what's your Instagram? Because you're, That's I, the only there's way no like point, yeah. Verify. It was like, hey, and I was like, hey, like, what's your Instagram? Because otherwise, it's, not. so anyways, Saul was a real Instagram. I do the same thing when I'm on there, because like, that's When the you're on there? Way. When I used to be on there. No, but um. <laughs> Oh, uh, because it's a perfect way to verify that they're Yeah, real. verify. So then so. we got on Instagram and we have the DMs pulled up from December of 2020. I remember going through his Instagram and your roommate and best friend at the time was Sandra, which is a girl. And so you were in Jacksonville with. And I remember looking and I was like, is this guy like a swinger? Because I thought that you were dating Sandra, yeah. the girl. Because every picture was with this girl. Like, yeah. Every single picture. And I was like, he must be into some <laughs> weird shit. Anyways, <laughs> we started messaging on Instagram. Why don't we just go through this? Like, it's, we'll read the conversation. Go for it. Hey, what's up, man? You live in Miami? Hey, no, I live in Jack's Beach. Ah, uh, cool. I'm here with my roommate for a little business trip. What's a good place to get drinks at tonight? I know it's Tuesday, but wanted to explore a little. <laughs> and I said, eh, where are you? And then we kind of got into a conversation. And I was like, do you know where Nona Blue is? And I, I said, guess. yeah, my roommate works there. Yeah, and so I'm just like, you live in Orlando, blah, blah, blah. And then he's like, if you're, oh, nice, if you're bored, hit me up. <laughs> yeah, I said that with the... Uh, I was like, I, I was kind of playing hard to get also because I was very, I had like a lot of walls up. So it doesn't like, look like it, you said, oh, you're welcome to come meet us. <laughs> no, I was like, true, but I was saying like, come meet me, I wasn't gonna meet anybody. Yes. So I was like, you're welcome to meet us for a drink if you want. Mm -hmm. Then I said, oh, it's, past my, I said it's past my bedtime. We went at the gym, so like, once we decided, hey, we're gonna meet up, I usually like to meet at like some place where there's like a lot of people around, that way it's, if I'm not like into the person, it's not awkward to kind of get out of that situation. I ended up actually going to the Ron gym. <laughs> yeah, so we decided to meet up at Bailey's gym in Jack's Beach. He went to the Bailey's that was like 20 minutes away. There's multiple locations. I was there for about an hour before he showed up. And at that point I was kind of getting annoyed. Annoyed. And then he showed up and I couldn't let him in as a guest because the front desk was cleaning the gym and he had to wait another 20 minutes. I think he went for a run or something. And it was like freezing outside. Oh, yeah. I think he was like, like, oh, run around the parking lot. <laughs> we got to the workout and he came in as a guest. Yeah, and actually during that time, I think I still had like my walls up. So I was like, yeah, he's okay. He's cool. Yeah. But then he's like trying to invite me over to his place at night to like pregame. No, they were like looking for a drink. I think just to hang out. Right, and I was like hesitating to go. I think cause Sandra, my roommate said she's not gonna go. So I was like, oh shit, I don't wanna go by myself. <laughs> so I ended up turning around and then she's like, no, still go. Like you need to get out of there. Cause she's seen how like how depressed and sad I was. So she's like, you need to get out and like 
you know, take a risk. So after that, I got to his house and we just started hanging out, like having some drinks. My dog probably helped. Yeah, the like, dog. I think we did go into my room and just talk and hung out. Yeah, and I think he was getting frustrated because I was kind of like being standoffish. I was? Yeah. I mean, I wasn't like trying to hook up. I was just like, whoa, what do you do? What do you like? Let's go get some food. I wasn't like fucking. Well, I think I, 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 I it, like, got like a little awkward because I wasn't like Probably. saying much, I think. So we were both like sitting on the side of the bed and he like went in for a hardcore kiss. I don't and like know. pushed me down on the bed. <laughs> I was probably like, all right, this is like either going somewhere or it's not, and this guy's not taking initiative, so I will. <laughs> That's probably what I was thinking. Yeah, I did. I was like, I don't know. The kiss was that good. I was <laughs> like, we're not 14, so. <laughs> but we did not, like, have sex. No, no, no. It was just like a really long makeout session, and I was like, whoa, he's actually really good at kissing, and I think after that, I kind of <laughs> let my guard down. So yes, went in for the kiss, which was good, good, I guess, but just to kind of backtrack, like with you being reserved or whatever and your walls up, same for me, but that made it a little bit harder to get to know you. So aside from like the physical aspect of things, I need to be attracted to someone emotionally, get along, chemistry, etc. So yeah, I was attracted to you, but like when it was hard to have like that amazing conversation when we both have come from relationships with issues, walls up, whatever. So. That being said, the first day was great, but like as we continued to get to know each other, obviously, I think this goes for both of us. We both became more attracted to each other emotionally, which, I mean, I think that that's more important than yeah. physical for me. For like, sure. Both of us are demisexual. I mean, like, we need that emotional connection to like be sexually connect like, connected yeah, to somebody. For sure. At least for like a true connection. Yeah. I get <laughs> aroused or turned on from like words sometimes. <laughs> That's true. Just like, <laughs> oh, actually, I do remember. Like when we talked about moving in together. Right? Like, I remember telling him like I might possibly want to move in with him, and he like got aroused. <laughs> from that. But yeah, I mean that's literally a perfect example of like yeah. the emotional connection. So, anyways, just something to note. Like, while physical attraction is obviously great and important, it's it's not the biggest thing for either of us. Yeah, you know? like emotional yeah. connections, I think create way more, way better sex and stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's important. But yeah, that was it. And then we took Finley to like a local bar, Gastro Pub. Oh, yeah. Gastro Pub and like, we had a few drinks and we were able to like relax a little bit. We got to know each other just for that one night enough to continue. So yeah. that's what happened. Fast forward two and a half years. I moved to Fort Lauderdale. He moved from Orlando to Fort Lauderdale. And now we're here. So anyways, that is the story of how we met. Um, so if you were wondering, there's your answer. If you still think that we met in Costa Rica on horseback, that's, <laughs> that's totally fine. That's fine too, but it is not the truth. Um, you can pick whatever story floats your boat. Yeah, it's, it's, but yeah, our story's not any like crazy romantic Cinderella love story, but it is a true story and we did meet on an app. I know those apps get a lot of hate, like grinder stuff, whatever. Right, but there's a chance that you can't actually meet someone on there, so don't give up. Yeah, so maybe this, maybe it can help. There's hope. Um, if you met someone or your husband or girlfriend on the app, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear your story or stories. Well, yeah, we do get a lot of people um, saying that they that we encourage them to have hope. You know that they will finally find somebody. So. You know, that warms our hearts and encourages us to continue to make content for you guys. Um, so thank you for all those comments and all the love. And we will continue to make the content if you just continue to support us. So thank yes, you so much. Thank you guys so much for the support. We're almost at 100K subscribers on YouTube, which for us is a big deal. Um, YouTube is just like tricky. Yeah. It's a lot, it takes a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of effort. And um, obviously, we would it almost be at that milestone if you guys weren't here. So thank you so much. So any help to, to get there, would, we would appreciate it. So sharing, liking, doing all the, all the good stuff. So make sure you're subscribed if you're not already, so you can keep up to date with all of those things. Um, anything else? That's it. What is that? <laughs> no, but we'll leave you guys with that. Thank you for watching and we love you. We love you. We love you. Bye. <laughs>